to that dad guy. It's January 30th, 2023. We've got a nice day outside. And today I thought I would show you the letter that arrived last week from Johan in Germany. He's got those beautiful stamps. And inside he's included some stamps too. And they came in this cardboard cutout from the post office. Last time he did the same thing. I love this uh, German post bicycle. Very cool. Uh, that some of the mail carriers get to do that within the city. So I'm going to show you that, but I'm also going to show you something that has come out from our local post office. Canada Post issued a new stamp today, and I want to show you that before I get into showing you the stamps that came from Germany. So it's this one here of Chloe Cooley, and on the back it says, Thousands of people of African descent were enslaved in pre-Confederation Canada. Their voices gave momentum to a movement that continues today in the struggle to end racism. In March 1793, Chloe Cooley, a young black woman enslaved as a domestic near Queenston, Upper Canada, was restrained, fighting and screaming, and forcibly transported by boat across the Niagara River to be sold in the neighboring New York State. Her brave protests led to a new law that paved the path to freedom for at least 30,000 black Americans and eventually to abolition in 1833. And here's the stamp. Which you can have a, a bit of a map to showing you the area between Canada and the US that she was transported across. I'm enjoying these uh, historical figures that we're learning a little bit more about um, Canadians that uh, had made an impact. And uh, so, yeah, new stamp issued today, January 30th. All right, now let me show you what I got from Germany. It starts with this one. They're all on paperbacks, but uh, a lot of them also have the outlying borders of uh, the stamps. That's very cool. I've got a FIFA one, very clean um, cancellation mark on it too. Very nice. A little bit more football. For those of you out there who are big football fans, there you are. If you're into American football, we're almost at the Super Bowl. The teams have been decided. It's the Philadelphia Eagles against the Kansas City Chiefs. But that's not the kind of football that was represented in those stamps. We're talking soccer. A lot of the times you see these uh, smaller denomination stamps too, all the floral ones. What's been great about these videos is the, or at least what's been great about the people that are watching like yourselves, love this lighthouse one, is that people are giving me history now on some of the stamps that I'm showing. They know what I'm showing and uh, so they're saying at the one minute mark you showed this stamp and this means this. So that's really cool. So if you get a chance, read some of the comments, because sometimes you learn some things about the video that way as well. How cool is that stamp? Very colorful, like the envelope here with the rainbow. Really enjoy this stamp here, and you can see it was a corner stamp. So. Those are all the stamps that were sent. As I've said before, I really enjoy when I'm able to show off different countries and the stamps um, that their post offices issue. And that's all through uh, generosity of people like uh, Johan that sends envelopes from time to time. And uh, I know there's many others too that have done it as well. Um, and also I'm happy to uh, show off the latest stamp from Canada Post. Not a long video today, but that's okay. I just wanted to uh, do a little stamp video, show you what's come out, and uh, yeah, hope you're having a good week. Mine's starting off very well, and I'm looking forward, forward to the things that are coming ahead. All right, have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.